check one two three check like check subal khair and a very good morning to all of you all the delegates welcome to the dubai international content marketing market event the dicm the dicm conference themed as dicm talks uh, powered by dubai studio city we today have a two day agenda for you very interesting topics for you in terms of presentations panel discussions and lot of screening videos for you guys to kind of go go and watch those videos uh, we going to start with our first present mic check check we are going to start with the first presentation on cracking audience trends who is watching what how and why is a very interesting presentation by mr simeon mirzians regional business manager for simia and southern europe glance mr simeon it's over to you to start with the presentation thank you thank you can you hear me one you hear me all okay great thank you um thank you very much i'm very happy to be here in dubai for the for the first time uh, to the dubai international content market thank you for coming so early uh, it's really uh, early to, to 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 come so to uh, just to explain you see who i am what i do but who what is against mediametry mediametry first of all is measuring audience in france just like uh, nielsen in usa or agf in germany or ipsos uh, here and glance mediametry is our international department where we gather all the viewing audience data from all the other institution we centralize it in one place to be able to analyze all the markets in the world and to track any content broadcasted to track the performance of any content series films shows in the world and i have 20 minutes to um, to show you that uh, so we'll go through different analyses we'll start with so this is a view of what we, we, we do. We are practically we analyze all the channels uh, and all the uh, in all the countries where uh, television and streaming platforms are officially measured. So we, as you see, we are like in a puzzle. We offer audience performance, content scouting, strategic advising. Uh, for audience performance, we uh, publish uh, several uh, reports. Uh, we have a great tool called Nota. It's a database where you can track all the new shows appearing on TV and on digital platforms. So if you're interested, I can uh, make you try it. And also we have offer a strategic advising based on all the information we have. We can estimate the chances of success of your content. So we'll go through different parts in this uh, presentation. We'll start with numbers uh, to analyze uh, consumption of TV, then we we'll go through content to see what were the most successful content, what are the trends in the world in the last season, and we'll finish with a focus on French content uh, which were, that was in MENA adapted or imported in uh, MENA region. So to start this uh, first part, uh, we have to say that we are navigating in an ocean of uncertainty. And uh, because of this uncertainty, we don't, we don't know where we're going, so that's why we drew this uh, compass uh, to uh, trace the different challenges the industry is facing now. What you see in uh, North, we have to find strategies to cope with reduced uh, TV consumption. This is a fact, I will, I will show you uh, that. Then on the West, how to make IP stand in a crowded uh, SVOD market. Then on the East, watching out the next uh, major tech development with AI, it's a subject we have to talk about. And then finally in the South, making up for lower revenues in the time of streaming wars. Um, so finding strategies to cope with reduced linear TV consumption. Uh, first of all, let me, let me uh, erase one false idea. TV is still that. TV is still the most watched uh, media in the world. Exactly, thank you. So don't think uh, streaming platforms as well anything you know TV it's still there but there is a tendency a slight tendency tendency to uh, the daily view and we see that with the daily viewing time in different regions of the world as you can see in the last 20 years and it's slightly decreasing but still when you when you look in different parts of the world for the daily viewing time it's still very important but it's every year it's decreasing 
let's make a focus in this in the region. You see also here uh, and in Saudi Arabia, in Qatar, and United Arab Emirates. In Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, it's de decreased, and in Qatar, it increased uh, a big increase for many reasons. Probably one of them is the, uh, of course, the football World Cup last year, because those are the numbers from 2022. So, uh, you all know that for a content, there is a different uh, way to travel. Not only live TV, uh, you have now pre-broadcast and different kinds of catch-up, so uh, uh, different kinds of way to, to watch the content. And so let it put this way in, a, uh, in, in online like this in the UK market. You have pre-broadcast, then you have live, plus seven days, plus 28 days, and online screens. The biggest part, uh, of this uh, swi switch uh, uh, of this uh, time shifted viewing is in plus seven days in UK. And pre broadcast is only 1%. But I want to show you why pre broadcast, such a thing as pre broadcast, is very is critical for the strategy of broadcasters. Here we have made a top 10 fictions of BBC between January and September 2023. And you can see that five of those were proposed in um, pre-broadcast. That means to be able to watch it before it's broadcasted live. So um, you can see it's very critical and important because for those last five, for more than 40% of the viewing was made, for the last episode, was made on pre-broadcast. So this is a way for a broadcaster to offer flexibility to his viewers to be able to catch him and to attract him to his uh, TV channel. Uh, talking about uh, channels now, we are talking about fast channels. This is also a word we hear everywhere. Uh, it's magic words. The biggest media groups in the world, here we have examples in Europe, are opening uh, their uh, fast channels. They have to be there. This is a trend. But we do have the numbers, the viewing numbers of the fast channels, and it's still very tiny. It doesn't have anything to do with the viewing time on a live TV or on streaming platforms. But this is a trend. You see, all the biggest platforms have opened many, many uh, uh, channels. So how can you make a content stand in a crowded SVOD market? There are so many types, so many offers. Just watch, look, look at this in France on Netflix um, in, in, uh, throughout the, the, this year, from January uh, until September. In every week, a uh, view, view, number of views, you can see that only, okay, Lupin, Sex Education, and you had stand out. And there is a comparison with the previous year, uh, where you can see Stranger Things Manifest and Mercredi were really standing out. But what does it mean, really, to stand out? How do you analyze that? How do you count that? Because we have made this analysis in the UK with Disney Plus and Netflix, uh, with the top series. When you take the number of views, you have this on the podium. With Content Kids, Blue Way, Family Guy, and an old title with friends. But if you take the coverage, so meaning the number of viewers, this is a totally different uh, podium with totally different titles. So it has really different meanings when a content is standing out. So now you know the revenues are uh, going down for the advertisement revenues. This is a fact we're showing you for big, uh, very big uh, channels uh, here. But hopefully, digital is a, is a place where uh, for advertisement growth. But again, when you talk about numbers of subscribers and global revenue, this is not the same. So of course, Netflix is in front of uh, Disney Plus in numbers of uh, subscribers, but he's behind in numbers of revenues. Uh, again, an example, uh, a proof that TV is still alive. The biggest share of the viewing time, of the, of the views, the biggest share is for TV. Whatever uh, cable or uh, normal uh, TV, the biggest share is for TV. For streaming platforms, it's all you see around 35 and 40 percent. And if they want to go beyond that, they need to have more budget. And this is why they enter the advertisement market and to offer also lower subscription prices. You all know that. And now this is to show you how a content can be monetized in different ways. See this uh, original from Disney Plus? Within two months, it has been in so many different platforms, in so many of so many different kind of business models. Started on the own platform of Disney Plus, then went on YouTube, so an Avon advertisement view, uh, view on demand, then went to Linear TV on ABC, then it went back 
to uh, digital platforms and finally on fast channels. So now, talking about AR, we have to talk about this. Um, how it will change our industry. Uh, first of all, what we have noticed is that AI can also uh, offer those possibilities of dubbing, with, uh, dubbing or vabbing, you probably uh, noticed that. It can also, uh, of course, for the editorial part, and this is why we had this strike, uh, this long strike in, uh, in Hollywood uh, about it, because it can, the fear of it can replace uh, the writers. Uh, what about us? What about uh, uh, our, our job of analyzing data, analyzing markets? Uh, I asked uh, ChatGPT if he can know how many viewers there will be on the final of the Euro uh, World Cup next year. And of course, he cannot answer to this, and he recommends to, uh, um, to see reliable uh, sources, because AI can only uh, work with reliable data in machine learning that will offer reliable artificial intelligence. So, so many ask, uh, questions to ask, I'll be uh, happy to answer to, to you through our different solutions. But let's go to the next uh, part, uh, talk about content. Uh, this, is, this analysis is made thanks to our tool NOTA, so it, which analyzes 48 countries in, three di in uh, all the, the different genres, uh, scripted and unscripted, uh, and it shows every day what has been launched on digital and on TV. And it, you can have it on your mobile phone. So if you're interested, you can talk to me about it and you can uh, try it for free. So for scripted, let's see the podium of the most exporters, the biggest exporters. Of course, you find. Uh, uh, USA, UK, but on the first place, you, you know that Turkey is one of the biggest exporters in the last uh, season, and this has been the case for many years. So let's see what were the most exported. Uh, so uh, minimal seven launches abroad, thanks to our uh, database uh, NOTA. Um, five of them pro comes from US, seven uh, of them comes from UK. And uh, of course, when we talk about English-speaking content, it's not only UK and USA, you also have from Australia. It's a very good comedy that's been launched in seven foreign countries. Also South Africa, Africa with uh, this uh, series, this Dark Thriller uh, Reka, which has three different launches. And when we talk about non-English-speaking uh, countries, uh, content, we find Turkey in the first place, with no surprises, then South Korea in second place, and then France, <laughs> that's why I'm here from France, Hopefully we are on the podium. We, 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 we do produce nice series. Um, but Turkey, let's look at Turkey. Turkey has had 20 new content launch in Spain in the last season. So this is really impressive. Then South Korea starts to be uh, popular also in uh, Spain. Uh, there has been this uh, dr drama, uh, uh, historical drama about an artist uh, from South Korea uh, last year in Spain on Nova. Uh, there was also uh, this uh, on ABC, Good Day to Be a Dog, I recommend this series, about a, wo about a woman, when she kisses uh, a, a boy, she transforms herself into a, a dog, and she falls in love with a guy who is uh, afraid of dogs. So, very interesting story. Um, let's go to uh, Unscripted. So, those are the most adapted formats uh, in the last season, so thanks to our uh, uh, database Nota, with at least three different launches in the world. Uh, three of them were launched on digital platforms. So don't think streaming platforms are only for fiction now. Now it's also for unscripted formats. Uh, three of them are, are game shows. Game shows on TV channel is still a good uh, formula. Uh, you pro maybe you know Snake Oil, uh, where um, people have to pitch uh, an idea of a project and the candidates have to know which is a, a fake, which is a real uh, project. This has, this has a strong appeal, and thanks to our tool, Abdex of Analysis, uh, we can see what are the key drivers of the shows. Um, so it has a big potential, but a lacking of energy. So it has, it has to, to have more energy uh, in this format. You know deal or not deal, now it's on an island. Uh, it's a very interesting. A uh, candidate has to open a box, and there is money or not, and now it's set on an island, so it's course, looks more beautiful. Squid Game, really interesting uh, uh, idea, like they did with Zero Zero Set and Mamma Mia. This idea of taking a movie and or a series and transform it into a game show. And here this is perfect because this is already it was already a game show. But don't worry, nobody dies in this uh, game show, so you can participate if you're interested. 
Uh, then, of course, a couple uh, survived shows. Uh, this one in, in Canada was very really successful. It has many key drivers. Um, and then uh, another one in Spain also, where um, uh, very famous people are outside their comfortable uh, zone and they have to face challenges in the nature to win a big prize. And it has also strong uh, appeal, many key drivers. So now let's talk about French content in MENA. Uh, probably you already know this uh, picture and you can compare it with it. Uh, this uh, called my agent, which was called in France 10%. So this is an original from France, this great idea of taking real actors in, in a, uh, real life and setting a fiction about the life of their managers. Uh, so it had a big success on our uh, public television, France 2. Uh, and it was already launched almost uh, 10 years ago now, 2015. Uh, and thanks to our tool Nota, we can track everywhere where this uh, content has been adapted or uh, acquired. And so you can see it has been in many uh, countries adapted or acquired. And so in 2020, it was adapted for uh, Turkey uh, on, on Star uh, Channel, uh, produced by Ayapin. Uh, and then uh, this adaptation was acquired here in the United Arab Emirates to be broadcasted on NBC4. And it was also uh, the case to be uh, broadcasted in Egypt at the same time uh, last year. And you see, you see it's, it was a totally different strategy, uh, five times 120 minutes. So you like, obviously, here in the United Arab Emirates, long, very long uh, episodes, while uh, See, in France, for example, it was six times 52 minutes. We are more used to spend an hour, uh, less than an hour for an episode. Uh, now let's look at another content, a really interesting uh, example. It was a co-production between France and uh, also uh, Turkey. Uh, so this is a cooking show. Uh, couples are uh, facing the challenge uh, of uh, cooking together and making the best uh, meal as possible. Uh, it was launched in 2017 uh, in France. It was a uh, weekly, and it was again on France 2. And there was an adaptation in the United Arab Emirates, again to be uh, broadcasted on NBC. It was produced by Imagic and uh, Shahid. And it's, it's distribute, uh, distributed by a uh, global agency. Uh, then it was in, uh, United, uh, in uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, another uh, show, uh, original from France, Au Tableau, so it means in, uh, in, France, in French, to the board. Uh, the idea is to invite famous people, politicians, uh, to come to a classroom and to answer the questions of the pupils. So very interesting situations, very funny, uh, very instructive, um, and very touching sometimes. Uh, it was launched uh, already six years ago, uh, uh, distributed by uh, Can't Stop Media. And it was in, a, in, a, in another channel in France called uh, C8. Uh, C8. Uh, this was, uh, this had been made an adaptation uh, and broadcasted in the United Arab Emirates. Again, uh, broadcasted on NBC. Uh, and then it was at the same time broadcasted in Saudi uh, Arabia uh, on NBC as well. Uh, let's come back to another uh, cooking show. Uh, Tous en Cuisine, en direct avec Cyril Yac. Cyril Yac is a very famous uh, person, uh, cook in France, and uh, he had this idea of show which was transformed during the pandemic, really interesting. Uh, he was on, uh, online, inviting other uh, famous people online to cook at the same time, sending them the recipe, and they would cook online since it was impossible during the pandemic to meet in studios. So they were online cooking uh, together uh, at the same time. It's a really interesting, uh, such an interesting uh, uh, idea that it was adap adapted uh, uh, to be uh, in uh, um, United Arab Emirates, produced by Imedia Plus uh, two years ago, all together uh, at the table. And so that's uh, that's it already. This is the the end. So um, the final thoughts. Um, you have, you have to take away the continued rise of non-English language territories in scripted. You have uh, noticed that. Need leverage uh, the power of popular IPs whilst refreshing them. This is very hard for a new IPs to stand out, as you have seen. 
and uh, experiments in hybrid genres to maximize creativity within a problem space. So let's thank all the people who work on this uh, presentation. You have my uh, email, so again, uh, if you are interested in this presentation, uh, if you are interested to try a NOTA, this is the tool of NOTA, uh, thanks to whom we have done this analysis uh, today, I can offer you to try it uh, for free. Uh, so you can send me an email or more easily you can scan uh, this uh, QR code uh, to, um, uh, to ask uh, for this presentation and to ask also for a free trial of NOTA. Thank you very much for your attention and I'll see you later. Uh, thank you, Mr. Simeon. Is there any questions that the, any yeah, of the audience would like to ask? Or, any questions? Yes. Hello. I would like to ask for the formats you have the reason for its success. Yes. Where is that data based on? Uh, from our, our uh, tool, uh, NOTA. So it's uh, based on 48 uh, markets. Yeah. Uh, so it's just the reasons why. Uh, the, like so the, that the reasons? Yeah. So you mean for the format here? Yeah? Yes, that, that, that one, that slide. That in this host. one? This one? No. This one? No, no, it had host on the side that it was. Ah, this uh, one. The next one? Sorry. Yeah, this one. Oh, here, the key drivers. Yes. Uh, the key drivers, so this is made thanks to an analyzing tool that we have called AppDex, where um, this is another database that we have, which is nothing to. Uh, thanks to our audience data and the criteria that made the success of shows, we detect what can be the key drivers uh, of the success. And this is how we can potentially also analyze uh, future shows. But we do also analyze uh, shows that already have been broadcast. And thanks to our database, uh, take out the key, uh, the key appealing uh, facts. Yeshim says I'm from Stone Turkey, Channel 7. Uh, you said that Turkey is number one in non-speaking countries and third. Uh, for, for, sorry, for non-speaking content, sorry. Non-speaking, non-English speaking. No, 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 non-speaking. Non, non non-speaking, uh, for non-speaking countries, yes. And number for three for scripted uh, sorry? in the world. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one, and this one. The, uh, why isn't there any Turkish title presented uh, in, in the presentation? Because I have seen Korean titles, I have seen UK titles, US titles, yes. but I haven't seen any any Turkish titles presented here. Uh, because yes, it's a very good uh, question. Because uh, here, what we have made is uh, we have counted at least seven uh, launches abroad, outside of the country of origin. So, in numbers of exports. Uh, you, uh, Turkey, you are uh, much uh, bigger because you have more titles, but we have taken the titles who have at least seven launches abroad. So this is a different way of, of uh, viewing it. So if we, we have had taken, th this is why we have made this podium, uh, to show that Turkey in numbers of titles exported, so in quantity of titles, this is a uh, number one for non-speaking, uh, so non-English speaking content. But if we take uh, the title that has been the most uh, launched abroad, and here we have counted at least seven uh, launches abroad, then this is the, the list. But you are right, this is a, right. This is a different way to, to see it. But in quantity, this is Turkey number one. Thank you. Questions? Any more questions? If you have thoughts afterwards, I'm here, I'm around, you have my uh, address, I'll be happy to answer. Thank you very much again. Thank you, thank you, thank you Mr. Simeon. On behalf of BICM, we thank you completely to share your thoughts and insights with all of us. Um, we go to the next uh, presentation, but this is a kind of a screening that we are going to have for you guys. So the screening is presented by TRT, and the screening title is Saladin, the Conqueror of Jerusalem. So this is a video which we would like you all to go through. Yeah, thank you so much.